stories, friends. I want you to consider the stories that you tell about your faith, about your church, about our God. What are the stories that come to mind? What are the things that you go, ah, I love when this happened. I love it when we sing these songs. I love it when I hear the choir ring out. Oh, there was this time when they sang this particular song, right? There was a time when the pastor shared this sermon. That never happens. Never mind. No. <laughs> There's that time when we read that scripture text. Oh, I love it when we read Psalm 23. Right? Stories of our faith. Stories of our baptism. Stories of the table. Stories of how God is working in and through our lives. A lot of you have some name tags on right now, and a lot of them have some dates on it. I, I need uh, two kids who are willing to come up here and be kind of dramatic this morning. If you are a kid and you can be like, <gasps> like that. One more, come on. One more kid. I'm looking at two people right back there. I need one of you to, uh, to be like, yep, I'm going to walk on up here. Come on down, come on down. No. No, can't be dramatic at all. James, you think you can carry this whole thing yourself? I think you can. I think you can, okay? James, don't you uh, jump right up here on stage so everyone can see you right here, okay? We're going to tell the story, quick story, of the origin of the church, right? Every time I turn to you like this, I want you to be like, can you do that? Can you demonstrate for us? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Woo! Okay. James, I don't want to scare you, but you might have a future as a pastor if you're able to do that. Okay? Just saying. Just saying. Okay? So, James, once there was a presbytery named Denver, and I'm going to go, and you're going, what? There was a presbytery named Denver, right? And it had a committee that was trying to start churches all over the Denver area. Perfect. Perfect. And somewhere along the lines, they went, we would love a church on the east side of Greenwood Village. <laughs> and we're going to put up the money to hire a person to come and do exactly that. Yeah. See? And that person was hired. And that person came out and he gathered a group of folks who were interested in planting a church. A new church start. A new church development right here in this area. And they met at Cherry Creek High School. What? Yeah. Yeah. And they met and they grew and some of you began to come here. And then they decided we should build a building. <laughs> and as that building was going up, it became what is that part of the building over there? What? Yeah. And it took five years to get to that point, friends. And then it would be another 10 to 15 before this part of the building was built. Ah, yes! And all along the way, God was involved. God was doing this thing. And then everyone woke up and it was 50 years later. <laughs> what? Exactly. You may go back to your seat. Everyone give James a big round of applause. Good morning. But that's not how the story goes, is it? It's not just all of a sudden everyone built a building and everyone then woke up 50 years later, is it? No. That's not actually how the story goes. It's a trimmed down version of it, but that's not the exciting stuff. Right? 
the exciting stuff's not really about these walls. The exciting stuff is in the stories, in the memories, in the mimosas that you all share with one another, isn't it? It's this week in and week out, bumping into one another, these relationships, this caring for one another, this holding on to one another, this discovering of new folks in and among us, some of which aren't new to lots of folks at all, but might be new to you. So I'm going to ask you to do something this morning. We're going to tell some quick stories with one another, and it's going to involve all of you, okay? I'm going to ask you to go ahead and stand if you are able. I mean, friends, I mean, I'm not asking you to be like, what? Okay? (laughs) What? Is it perfect? See? Some of you got the idea, right? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to find four people that you did not come to church with this morning in a vehicle, okay? I want you to introduce yourself to them. I want you to look at that name tag if they have one. And I want you to ask them, when did they first come to Covenant Presbyterian DTC? You've got a minute and a half. Four people. Go. That's who it was. Good to see you. Yeah, when did you come to this church? 96. 96. Fantastic. Look, you compared to some of these people. Good morning, Luke. Good to see you. Frank, good to see you, sir. Right, just see yeah. you. 2007. Yeah. You're a young one then. I did not know. So who invited you to the church? Uh, nobody. We were looking for the church. Well, good to see you. Good to see you. What, what year? Ish. Uh, we're trying to figure that out. Late yeah. 70s. Late 70s. Come and gone. Yeah. 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 That's all right. Yeah. yeah. See, you're more honest than me. I'd just be like, it was 78, even if I wasn't sure it was 78. You know? <laughs> Annalie, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. I met him earlier. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Dick, when were you here? When were you here? In the last 50 years. <laughs> 1986. Yes. No. Uh, the first person whose name I was trying to memorize all before the sermon slipped my mind. So. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. All right, Neil yeah. Weiler. Justin. About 10 years, nice I think. You, but about, you know, that's fine. I guess I, it's good to guess. Okay. Let's corral this back to our seats. What? Right? Yeah. Friends, I ultimately believe that the best sermons are the ones that you all tell rather than the ones that I give. The Bible, and particularly the Jewish tradition, and the early Christian church were storytelling communities. Sure, someone would read Scripture or Scriptures. And sometimes someone would expound on those. But what was most important to the Christian community was what you just did right there. It was the sharing among the people that took place. It's where the Word takes on flesh. It's where Christ becomes real 
to you and to me. It's where things like our baptisms really can be remembered because likely there's someone who actually remembers the day of your baptism. It's when things like communion make so much sense because you were standing with or sitting next to a person and know on that particular day, communion meant something more because of what was going on in that person's life. Being church together isn't just simply a routine. It's not simply coming in and going through the rituals. It's not just me and Jesus. It's us and God together. We do this because there's something that happens in a place like this, in a worship service like this, that actually can't happen on a hike. There's something that happens in this rituals and in these story sharing that we do that doesn't happen at the bottom of a waterfall. Something else happens there. It's beautiful. I love when I meet God in nature on my own. But there's also something else missing when I don't have the people of God and their stories that are shared with me. That I walk out and go, I have something that is larger than myself. I have concerns and cares that have been brought to me that I'm going to shoulder as well. I've got burdens that I can give away to others to carry for me. Being church in these last 50 years has been about those kinds of things. And friends, no matter what innovations, no matter what creativity, no matter what imaginations that you and I figure out over these next couple of years, I promise you what won't ever change about church is the storytelling, is the singing is the coming together, is the caring and the compassion and the shared mission and the shared vision that you and I have with one another. Being in covenant relationship with one another. And we will remember and look back as a church and go, remember that 50th anniversary when we baptized Tony Remember when we all got wet? Remember when she got soaked? <laughs> Remember when we had memories and mimosas? Remember. Because friends, it is in the sharing of those memories that the faith is passed around, is passed on, is offered to the next generation of folks. So that 50 years from now, they will raise up our names on All Saints Sunday. That they will lift up our stories. That they'll say, this 50th anniversary was not a bookend, but it was a renewal of what covenant has always been about. Amen.